Hi everybody, Dr. Parma here. I wanted to go over your module three. So I'm in your home page. I'm just going to click on modules and I'm going to scroll down to module three and just keep in mind that the due dates, you have a discussion forum on global economic challenges and choices that is going to be due February the 12th at 11.59 p.m. And then you have your module three quiz, which is due on February 12th at 11.59 p.m. So let's look and see what this module is about. It also coincides with chapter three, economic challenges facing contemporary businesses. So let's look at your module outcomes or your learning outcomes, all the topics and concepts that you should definitely become familiar with after doing everything that's required in this module. So we're gonna look at these forces of supply and demand. Uh, we're going to look at the entire eco economy as far as macroeconomics, how to evaluate economic performance, and some of the challenges facing managers in the uh, global economic arena. So why this is important to learn is because it's important to understand what forces affect um, our demand for products that we consume and then the supply of those products. So you're able to get a better idea of some of the different uh, governmental uh, economic indicators as well, like the pricing index or uh, the, the GDP, gross domestic product. You know, some of these indicators are measures that economists and a national economists use and even global economists use to find out what the, uh, how the economy is doing overall. So it's important to know that because you, you want to know how your economy is doing in the nation that you live in or the nation that you're residing in and, and, and making sure everything is kind of going um, up to par. So let's look at the other resources that you have available to you in this module. You have a, an audio presentation that goes over the PowerPoint. It's an audio screencast of me. Uh, you do have a required reading, which is Chapter 3 because it's module three, so you want to be studying um, chapter three and reading that. It's a great resource. Um, it's not the only one, but it's, it's still a great resource to have. Then you can look at here, the resources that I've uploaded for you. I've uploaded several different resources for you. There's uh, links that go over some other information within the, the actual module and chapter. Then I've also given you a law of demand video and a law of supply video. Um, with using an example of milk and then dairy suppliers. So that kind of goes over that more in depth for you as well. So be sure and take some time to review these. All of these resources that I upload for you are there to help supplement and enrich your learning of the topics and the concepts, and they're all related to the module objectives or the learning objectives um, within your chapter as well. So be sure and review that. Now, the fun stuff, you know, what are you going to do? Okay, let's look. You have a discussion forum. So this is a class or a group discussion that we all get in on. And basically what I want you to do here is I want you to, you know, after reading Chapter 3, explain which economic system that you prefer and why. So it could be one here in the U.S. or it could be another one. Explain um, the types of unemployment that you have experienced this far in your career and some strategies that you have in place to ensure your continued in, in employment within an organization. The unemployment rate is another economic indicator that economists look at. And this is just a kind of career uh, thinking piece for you. So if you've experienced unemployment, which we don't want, right? We don't want to experience any unemployment. But if you have thus far, what caused it or what type of unemployment was it? Did you have a, was your company downsizing or laying off? And so then come up with some strategies to combat that. And why that's important is you'll be able to move into your next job or within your current role and be able to think about, okay, what are some ways that I could be unemployed here? And then develop strategies so that doesn't happen to you. That keeps you having a career, it keeps you having a paycheck. So that's real important there. And I do like to fuse in career-oriented um, discussions as well or activities, assignments. 
Um, so we can see the big picture of, you know, getting your degree and getting the knowledge that you need to get out into the workforce and be successful. So also I want you to further give an example of a country that is facing a particular global economic challenge and explain your answer. So you're going to have to do some research. Don't forget to post to a classmate's post so we can get that discussion brewing. Don't forget to cite your sources, whether it be the textbook or some outside websites, articles, um, in any other type of resource that that you find. Don't forget to do the quiz and I will talk to you soon. And just let me know if you need anything. Um, I'm here to answer any questions, comments, or concerns. All right, bye.